Uh, this is actually a video I filmed during the winter. It's summer now, it was like seven months ago. So I was digging through an old hard drive. I just found this. And so enjoy guys, this is how I learned to speak Mandarin. Saying When it comes to learning Chinese, taking classes or tutoring is tantamount to having progress. And here's how I did it. This really small city called Rizhao is where I first moved. And I taught at a university there. That was my first job in China. And in exchange for teaching classes there, the university did let me informally enroll in some classes and just attend as I pleased. So that helped me kind of set this foundation. And then uh, after living there for a while and studying, doing self-study, I moved to Shanghai. And when I moved to Shanghai, I found a private tutor almost immediately. And I was taking classes twice per week, uh, one hour per class with a private tutor. And it was only 85 RMB per hour. And that's incredible. I mean, that's about $13 for a one-on-one -on -one private tutoring session. I never missed a class. I would always do my homework. And then here's the kicker, right? Here's how you supplement that studying. Every time I would go to class afterwards, I would take my books and my homework and I would go and get a foot massage with my friends or by myself. And I would just open up my book and start reviewing all the things that I just learned in private tutoring. Plus, supplementing my courses with the actual private tutor with getting a foot massage, I was able to speak with all of the different masseuses and masseurs and pick up their different dialects and open the book and say, is this right? I would practice a sentence and sometimes they would kind of argue with each other on varying pronunciations and I could learn about different dialects too, like the Shanghai dialect. I would do that twice per week, every week. And I did that for almost a year. And without a doubt, that was the most indispensable method for helping me to improve my Chinese and get to the point where I am today. You also want to hang out with people who are like-minded, who are studying Chinese also, who or who also speak Chinese. Exercise with them, chat with them, eat with them, watch Chinese TV with them, watch Chinese movies with them. Do things and surround yourself with opportunities to improve. When I first arrived in Shanghai, I started playing for the Shanghai Warriors American football team. And this is an, a league that's comprised of 80% Chinese players, 20% foreigners. And there's a lot of Chinese being screamed and talked on the field and the coaches would speak in English and then a Chinese player would translate in Chinese. I could hear exactly what the coach is saying in English and then okay, the Chinese trainer would say it right back in Chinese. I could be like okay, each time I could fill in the gaps a little bit more until I could repeat everything that the Chinese coach is saying. There's no denying it, perhaps the most powerful motivator out there is love. And if you have a Chinese love interest, whether it's a guy or a girl, Having them around you is definitely going to help you improve your Chinese. If you really are interested in someone, if you're really attracted to someone, then you will want to learn their language so that you can understand them on a deeper level. When you're not in classes, when you have no more homework to do, when you have no friends around you and you're by yourself, great. This is the time when you can supplement your studying with things like applications or by writing characters in notebooks over and over again or by uh, translating your favorite song into Chinese and singing it. These, these are the things that you can do in your free time. Honestly, I recommend one of the best ways, really, if you're by yourself, download some Chinese cartoons because it's designed in many ways to reinforce the language of Chinese children. If I would recommend any app, and again, this is not a promotional video, I'm not receiving any money for this, I recommend Pleco. If you're outside and you see a character on a wall or in a book and you want to see hey, what is this character, you can write it into the dictionary and it'll tell you what it is. With an app like Pleco, it has all the flashcards HSK level 1 through 6 and you can just, you can choose exactly which flashcards you want to use. I'm not being paid at all to make this video, Pleco. So if you see this, hit me up. I believe in your product. So there you have it guys. Cut and dry, that is how I learned Chinese. No filler here, that's just my honest advice. Yes, you can use apps, there's plenty of them out there for studying, but I guarantee it's it's not gonna amount to more than five to 10% of your actual progress in learning Chinese. If you want to learn Chinese, you need to put in the effort. You need to hang out with Chinese people. You need to go to Chinese classes. You need to actually study and do your homework. You need to write characters. You need to read characters. You need to want to learn. You need to sing Chinese songs, watch Chinese TV, watch Chinese movies. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your Chinese studying journey has been like, whether you're someone who's just started or you're absolutely fluent in Chinese. Tell me some of the apps that you've used that have been helpful for you. We'll see you next time.